in this very quick video, we're gonna be updating the Bimba theme. The Bimba theme is a theme that we've been using on the viral uh, website, which we set up in a previous tutorial. So uh, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. So we're gonna be updating uh, a theme today, the Bimba theme that we've been using on the viral uh, marketing website. If you're not familiar with that website, then I'll just put a link up now in terms of uh, the video that I created where we go through setting up this uh, wonderful viral marketing website uh, using this theme. However, you're probably watching this video because you've already got uh, this theme and you're already running a brilliant viral marketing website and you've heard that there's a new version of Bimber out which has got some new features and other bits and bobs and you're wondering how to update. So uh, that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. You are gonna need uh, to uh, be able to connect to your website via FTP. So you'll need your kind of hosting login details uh, for your control panel to hand in order to do that. Um, but other than that, uh, that's what you're gonna need. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm over at labradorfeed.com, which is the website that's running the Bimba theme that we're gonna be updating today. Now, the way we're gonna do it is via FTP, and the reason for this is it's um, one of the safest ways to do it without um, risking losing any of your settings, which is obviously a bad thing. Also means if for whatever reason the new theme doesn't work, uh, we can easily just roll back to the old one and uh, not have any problems. So to be able to connect via FTP means you need some software uh, and whatnot. Now I do have a more detailed video on this in terms of how to set up your FTP connection, which I will put a link up to now and I'll put a link in the description. Um, so be sure to check that out if you haven't yet connected to your website via FTP. I'm gonna run through it very quickly now, but as I say in that video that I've just linked to is a bit more detail in terms of how to do it. Basically, what you need is a piece of FTP software. I'm using Fetch here on the Mac. Um, but I believe, I think Pure FTP is another good one for the PC. Um, but yeah, basically check out the FTP video and you'll find out uh, ideas on getting some FTP software. I've already got my FTP software, as I said, so I just need to enter my details. So the host name is labradorfeed.com. Now the username and password are gonna be the ones that you use to log into your hosting. So I've just flicked back here to my email. And you remember when we set up the website uh, with HostGator, we got this um, information here in terms of username and password. So it's gonna be these uh, username and passwords that we're gonna be using to connect to the FTP. If you're not with HostGator or with another host or whatever, again, please check out the FTP video, which you'll find on my video on my channel in the video section. Uh, it's quite a recent video and that'll explain what to do with other hosts. So my username is Labrador Feed. My password is well, it's actually there, but I, I remember I changed it, so I can just type it in. And now we're connected. So now we're looking at the files and folders that are actually uh, what make up our website on the server. If we go into public HTML, uh, and then into WP content, and then into themes, we can see our themes, there's Bimba, there's Bimba Child. And if you set your website up following my tutorial video, you should hopefully be running the child theme, which is a good thing because it makes this slightly uh, easier. So what we're gonna do now before we change anything on here is go off and download the latest version of the theme. So I'm just gonna open a tab here, go over to Theme Forest, go into Downloads, let's just, uh, filter it by theme for us, so I can find it. There it is, and then I'm just gonna download all files and documentation into downloads folders, fine. Okay, that's downloaded, let's have a look at it on the computer. It's a zip file, so what I'm gonna do is extract that zip file. And then in there there's a folder. Then in here we've got uh, more folders and zip files and we've got Bimba and we've got Bimba child theme folders. Now what we need is this Bimba folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually rename it to Bimba new. The reason I do that is so that I can upload it uh, without having to overwrite the old one, if that makes sense. So let's go back into our FTP program. Then what I'm gonna do is I've got this Bimba new. I'm just gonna drag that drop that onto the themes folder on my FTP and that's just gonna upload, that's gonna take a few minutes. So um, 
I'll let that do that and I'll do a quick edit. Okay, so that's all finished now. Um, so now we've got these um, three folders with Bimba. We've got Bimba, the old one, which is that one. Uh, Bimba child theme, which we're not gonna to touch. And then we've got the new one that we just uploaded. So what I'm gonna do is this old one, I'm just gonna rename this one. Bimba old. And then the new one I'm gonna to rename to Bimba. Then all being well, that should be done. So let's just go back into our dashboard. If we scroll down and go into themes, you can see that we've now got two Bimbas. This is the new one, version 2.1. That's the old one, version 1.4. So what we just wanna check is that the site looks all okay. Everything working as it should. All seems good. So when you're happy that uh, everything's working, you can then just go back into your FTP and you can delete this old uh, folder. Obviously, if something's not right, you can just quickly rename a background and you'll be back up and running again. So let me just delete this old one. And that's it, we're all done. So hopefully uh, you've been able to update your theme all okay. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, obviously as usual, just leave them below and I will see you next time. Bye for now.